looking at sum of a geometric se series. So here's our rule here that the sum of a series, S of n, is a outside of r to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. If your r is a um, negative number, um, like if it's between negative 1 and 1, um, it can be easier to use the reverse form where you've got 1 minus r to the n and 1 minus r on the bottom. Um, but you can use this one for both times. So we've got our series here. We obviously need an a value. So in this case, our a is 2. We need an r value. So what is being multiplied? What are we multiplying by each time? So we're multiplying by negative 3. If we weren't sure, you would do negative 6 divided by 2, 18 divided by negative 6, and that would tell you your r value. Uh, and we also need an n value. Now, we don't have an n value, we just know that it finishes at 1, 4, 5, 8. So that means we need to bring in our um, t of n is a r to the n minus 1. And so we've got our 1, 4, 5, 8 is equal to 2 times 3 to the n minus 1. So I'll divide by 2 first. We get 7, 2, 9 is equal to 3 to the n take 1. Now, a couple of options here. If you know your powers of 3, you might um, try a few, go 3 to the power of three, uh, 5, 3 to the power of 6, and know that that is what 729 is, 3 to the power of 6. So we will get 6 is equal to n take 1, so n must equal 7. Your other option is to use logs, which you haven't actually learned at this point in time in um, the Maths Methods course. However, um, I do have a little video on using the logs to solve for n if you want to have a look at that, and your teacher may have shown you as well. So we've got, that means over here we would say log of 729 is equal to log of 3 to the n take 1. That enables us to bring down the n take 1. And then we would have log of 729 over log of 3. And that would be our n take 1. So then when we grab our calculator, log of 729 divided by log of 3 gives us 6, which is what we found out over here as well. So 6 is n minus 1, so n must be 7. Now that we have our n, we can then use our rule up here of s of n is equal to our 2 outside of negative 3 to the power of 7 take away 1 over negative 3 take 1. So we can pop that in. Negative 3 to the power of 7 is going to be negative 2187 take away 1. Uh, and we're multiplying that by 2. And then we're dividing that by negative 4. So we get 1094 as our answer.